Candice, this third season of Ultimate Girls Trip. Oof. You know, Candy Girl, I gotta tell you, I was actually feeling bad for you a little bit because you were opening up so much about your anxiety and that you were going through a lot going into this trip. So is it a little tough for you to rewatch as well? Yeah, Chris and I kind of got into this big fight right before I left, like literally as I'm walking out the door and not being in a good place with my husband is like the worst feeling in the entire world. Not only is it hard to leave and go into that type of a situation, especially after having a fight with Chris, but to see the person who caused a lot of the problems with your marriage doesn't make things any easier, am I right? You are correct. It was it was not the most comfortable. It's important to note that I had not seen any of season seven. I had not seen, or we had not shot any of the reunion. Um, so I didn't know most of the really horrible, awful, incriminating things that Giselle was saying about Chris. I didn't realize that she had said this to five different other people and changed the story five different times. And you painted Chris to be a predator. Um, so it would have been a different situation if I had known everything. I still would have gone. It just, she, I would have probably lit her up a lot more. It's toward the end, it doesn't really go well, but I, I did try. <laughs> you know, we are seeing your husband, Chris. He's going to the blogs. He's talking about things. Like, he's really popping off right now. How are things with Chris, and how is he kind of adjusting to all the attention he's getting by going to these blogs? So, throughout the course of the airing of season seven, he, he probably got over 100 interview requests from different outlets looking to speak to him. He did three out of the like 90 to 100 that he was requested for. And they all came out at the same time. Um, and I think that overall he is happy. Well, I know for sure that he's happy that he did these interviews because he wasn't able to speak for 10 months for him to speak his truth and defend himself um, and have his voice be heard. I, I think I know that he's happy about that. And I'm, I'm happy that he was able to do that. Good. It's so great to see you two standing up for each other because that's really what you need at the end of the day. Well, I know we're pretty much out of time, so I just have one last question for you. In real time, there's always some drama happening with Potomac, and we just saw that Robin's man, Juan, was just let go from his position. Candace, what are your thoughts? Do you have any reaction to seeing that Juan was let go? I was completely stunned. I was. It was not at all what I expected. Um, I hadn't really talked to Robin about it because we were kind of not in the greatest place. And I never saw a world where he would lose his job. And it it's devastating. And, you know, we watched her and her husband build this home and, you know, start this new life. And she's got these new businesses. And now for this to come back around, it's like, you can't win. So, you know, we have a lot of issues and I have a lot of opinions about Robin, okay? but this is not something that I would wish on, on anyone. Beautifully said, my friends. I mean, listen, you have such a big heart and we are seriously rooting for you. I said it on Twitter, you were the star of this last season and we're excited to see what else is to come for you. So just keep slaying, my friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, I'll talk to you very soon and have a great rest of your day. It's great to see you again. Mm -hmm.